All right, so this lesson is for Math 9s. We are looking at adding and subtracting polynomials. We're going to start by uh, just doing some quick review questions um, from last class. So we'll start with this example here. Uh, we'll start with an addition, an addition question. So we have negative 6x plus 2 plus 3x minus 5. All right, so this is addition, and when we have addition, um, all we have to do is open up the brackets and then collect our like terms. So that's what I'm going to do. Start with the first bracket, so negative 6x plus 2 plus 3x minus 5. All right, so now we can go ahead and collect our like terms. So remember, our like terms are, um, they have to have the same variable. And the variable has to have the same exponent. So here we have negative 6x and positive 3x. So we can collect those together. Those together. So negative 6 plus 3, that gives me a negative 3x. And the other two we can collect together is the positive 2 and the negative 5. All right, so positive 2 and negative 5, that gives me uh, negative 3. All right, so again, um, remember that these signs, the, the signs here in front of uh, the term determine whether it's positive or negative. All right, so this is negative 3x minus 3, or you can call it negative 3x and negative 3. Um, it's kind of interchange interchangeable. All right, so that was an addition question. The next one we're looking at is, uh, let's take a look at a subtraction question. All right, so let's do, here we have 5x plus 1 minus 5x minus 1. All right, so recall here um, that this uh, subtraction um, is going to apply to everything inside of this second bracket. There's nothing in front of this first bracket, so we can just open that bracket up just like normal. So 5x plus 1. Now this minus sign is going to change um, the signs of everything inside of this bracket. So it's going to become minus 5x or negative 5x. And then this minus 1 is going to change to a plus 1. All right, so that is what it looks like. And now we can go ahead and um, collect our like terms. All right, so we have uh, 5x minus 5x. 5x minus 5x, that's 0. And then we have a positive 1 and a positive 1. Um, so that becomes 2. So our answer here is just 2. Okay, so the examples that we're going to look at today, so this was just a little bit of a review. The examples we're looking at today are going to have um, a number in front of the brackets. So what you've done in algebra before, um, we have to multiply everything inside of that bracket. So let's uh, take a look at an example. Let's do this one here. So we have negative 5y plus 2a. And then we have plus 5, and then we, in the bracket we have negative 2y minus a. All right, so the difference we're seeing here is we have this plus 5, and what's happening is this plus 5 is going to multiply with everything inside the bracket. First bracket, we're going to open up just like normal. So we're ending up with negative 5y plus 2a. That's the first bracket. We've just opened it up. Next, we have to multiply this 5 here with everything inside of this bracket. So first, it's 5 times negative 2y. So that becomes negative 10y. Next, we have to multiply this 5 with the minus a, that's going to become minus 5a. 
All right, so now we have um, opened up the brackets here. We can now collect our like terms. So we have negative 5y and minus 10y. All right, make sure you're doing the integers correctly here. Um, use a calculator to check uh, just so you don't make any mistakes with integers. So it's negative 5 minus 10. And that will give me uh, negative 15y. Next, we have the 2a minus 5a. All right, so 2 minus 5, and that gives me negative 3. Okay, so negative 15y, and then minus 3a. All right, if you had done the a's first, um, that's okay as well. Just remember that... You have to make sure you have the appropriate sign. So it could have been written as negative 3a minus 15y. It's still the same answer. So this way or this way. All right, usually when we're looking at algebra, um, we are writing them alphabetically. So this one would be uh, more correct because a comes before the y. All right, so the next example we're looking at here is 2y plus 4 and then minus 2, 5y minus 3. So the first bracket we can open up uh, just like we have been. Um, so just 2y plus 4. Next, we have this negative 2 that's in front of this bracket. So we do have to multiply that to everything inside. So it's going to be negative 2 times the 5y, and then the negative 2 times that negative 3. All right, so negative 2 times 5y, that gives me negative 10y. And then we have negative 2 times negative 3, which is positive 6. All right, so once you've gotten to this stage, now you just have to collect like terms. So we have a 2y minus 10y. All right, so collecting 2y and negative 10y, that gives me negative 8y. And then we have a 4 plus 6. And 4 plus 6 is just 10, positive 10, so plus 10. All right, and that is that is complete. Um, so I'm going to put up a question now for you to try. Um, try this one. And then we'll go over it um, in a minute. All right, give that a try. So we have a negative 2 in front of the first bracket, and then multiplying x plus 4 minus, we have 8x minus 11. All right, so I'm just going to pause it here, and I'll let you guys try that. All right, so the first bracket here, we have a negative 2 in front of it, so we do have to apply that negative 2 to everything inside that bracket. So we have to multiply this negative 2 uh, with the x, and we have to multiply that negative 2 uh, with that uh, positive 4. This negative sign uh, changes everything inside the second bracket, but you can also think of it as you can also think of it as a negative 1, right? If you think of it as a negative 1, um, it's going to change the signs to everything inside as well. All right, so let's multiply this first one out. So negative 2 times x uh, gives me negative 2x. And then negative 2 times 4, that gives me negative 8. All right, and then here, uh, negative 1 times 8, that's going to change it to minus 8x. 
a negative 1 times negative 11. That just changes it to positive 11. All right, so once we've gotten to this stage, then we just have to um, collect our like terms. So we have negative 2x and negative 8x. Um, so make sure, uh, again, um, when you're working with integers, um, put it in your calculator as negative 2 minus 8 um, to get negative 10. All right, negative 10x, and then we have our second term. Uh, we can collect these ones here. The negative 8 plus 11, which gives me plus 3. So the answer is negative 10x plus 3. All right, so first bracket here in this example, <clears throat> it's just 2x plus 3. There's nothing in front of it that we need to worry about, uh, nothing to multiply. So the first bracket, we will just open it up as 2x plus 3. Second bracket, we have a negative 2 <clears throat> that needs to multiply to everything inside of that bracket. So that means negative 2 has to multiply with negative 3y, and then negative 2 has to multiply with the negative 2. So let's do that. Uh, negative 2 times negative 3y gives me positive 6y. And then negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. All right, second bracket is completed. Let's go to the third bracket. Uh, we have a negative 3 here that has to multiply to everything inside of that bracket there. So negative 3 has to multiply with 3y, and that negative 3 has to multiply to that uh, positive 1. So negative 3 times 3 uh, is negative 9y. Negative 3 times a positive 1 is negative all right, so at this stage now, we are going to collect like terms. So let's look at the 2x first. 2x, there's no other um, there's no other term with an x, so that's just by itself. So I'll just bring that down right away here, so 2x. Uh, next, let's look at our, six, our, our y's. Uh, so we have uh, 6y, and we have a negative 9y. All right, so 6 minus 9, 6y minus 9y, that gives me negative 3y. And the last uh, ones we have are just our constants, our numbers. Um, so we have plus 3, plus 4, negative 3. Um, so that just leaves us with plus 4, right? Because um, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 minus 3 is 4. So we have 2x minus 3y plus 4 as our final answer there.